Welcome to the Birmingham Shuttlesworth International Airport. As Alabama's largest airport, it is our honor and privilege to welcome travelers to the Magic City and give them a taste of some of Alabama's culture and also some of the tourist attractions and exhibits that we have at the airport. One of those exhibits honors the airport's namesake, the Reverend Fred Shuttlesworth. This exhibit here offers a great overview of Reverend Shuttlesworth's life, his work, his mission, and everything that he went through as a courageous leader during the Civil Rights Movement. In the summer of 2008, the Birmingham Airport Authority Board of Directors approved a name change for the airport. The name change came from a resolution that was approved by the Birmingham City Council and was recommended by the Mayor of Birmingham at that time. So now today we are known as the Birmingham Shuttlesworth International Airport to honor the legacy and the life of the Reverend Fred Shuttlesworth and the impact that he had here in the city of Birmingham. Travelers and guests at the Birmingham Shuttlesworth International Airport are encouraged to take a moment and visit the airport's exhibit honoring the Reverend Fred Shuttlesworth. This exhibit offers an overview of Shuttlesworth life and was designed by the Birmingham Civil Rights Institute. The exhibit includes selections from the Christmas bombing, a summary of court cases as Reverend Shuttlesworth understood the power of the courts, the Alabama Christian Movement for Human Rights, the Children's Crusade, Actionist for Justice, Becoming Shuttlesworth, and the attack at Phillips High School. This exhibit is open to the public, so we invite travelers and our fellow citizens in Birmingham to join us as we celebrate the life, the work, and the legacy of Reverend Shuttlesworth. As an airport named after the late civil rights activist, Reverend Fred Shuttlesworth, it is important for us to recognize the achievements and share the stories of African Americans that have made significant contributions to America's history and the diverse story of our nation. We invite the community to join us as we honor and celebrate the stories of those who stood in the face of adversity and helped pave the way for all, especially in the aviation industry, and especially those like the Reverend Fred Shuttlesworth. The exhibit features information about the Christmas bombing, which tells the story following the U.S. Supreme Court's 1956 ruling in the Montgomery, Alabama bus desegregation case, where Shuttlesworth decided to test the law in Birmingham. On Christmas night, 1956, hours before a planned bus protest, dynamite detonated at his Bethel Baptist Church, Collegeville Parsonage. The home sustained major damage and Shuttlesworth was presumed dead. However, he walked out. Bolstered by the belief that God saved him to lead the Birmingham movement, Shuttlesworth and fellow members of the Alabama Christian Movement for Human Rights rode segregated city buses of protest the following day. Until his death in 2011, Shuttlesworth remained engaged and encouraged in the struggle for justice. Today, visitors travel far and wide to Birmingham to study lessons of the Birmingham movement and the visionary leadership of Reverend Fred Shuttlesworth. Fred Shuttlesworth called himself an actionist for justice. He believed that the Civil Rights Movement was ordained by God. As he once told a CBS News reporter, we mean to kill segregation or be killed by it. Arrested over 35 times, Shuttlesworth has suggested that the Birmingham Movement changed the nation and the world as much as the city itself. The Civil Rights Act of 1964 was passed and signed into law by President Lyndon Johnson, largely due to the events in Birmingham. We are now at the heart of the airport where we have an exhibit that honors the life and the legacy of the Tuskegee Airmen. This exhibit features rare artifacts from the Southern Museum of Flight, 
There are also several photos of the different colonels and the different aviators that were a part of the Tuskegee Airmen. And also along the walls, we have four P-51 Mustang red tail aircrafts that are flying in formation above the terminal lounge here at the airport. This exhibit is very important to us as it's important to share and tell the stories of African American aviators who stood in the face of adversity and overcame obstacles, different barriers, and just really helped pave the way for all, but especially in the aviation industry. It's our honor and our privilege to share these stories with travelers as they come through the Magic City at the airport. So we always encourage travelers to come and just take a moment and just really take a look at the legacy and the rich history that is here about the Tuskegee Airmen. Now this exhibit was designed by the Southern Museum of Flight, so we also encourage passengers and travelers and guests of the city to go and visit that exhibit as well that complements this exhibit. In this exhibit, you'll see some of the artifacts that have an aviator himself, Charles Anderson, or also Chief Anderson, and he's considered the father of black aviation. Since most flight instructors would not take black students, he taught himself to fly at the age of 22 in a used plane purchased with his savings and other funds borrowed from friends and relatives. He earned a pilot's license in 1929 and a commercial pilot's license in 1932. In 1940, Anderson was hired by the Tuskegee Institute as its chief flight instructor with the assignment to develop a pilot training program for the school. Tuskegee was one of six black colleges participating in the civilian pilot training program, a system established by the Civil Aeronautics Authority in 1939 to provide a pool of civilian pilots for wartime emergency. At that time, Anderson was the only black aviator in the United States who held a commercial pilot's license. In this exhibit for the Tuskegee Airmen, you'll see that there is a uniform that the aviators wore. There's also a helmet, there are goggles, a microphone, there is the aviation cadet shoulder patch, the U.S. Army Air Force's shoulder patch, the 99th Fighter Squadron uniform patch, and there are other great photos that we're just so excited that we can just share those with the community and all those who travel through the Birmingham airport. On the back side of the exhibit's display case that features important artifacts is a brief yet important synopsis that gives us an inside look as to exactly what was going on in the field of aviation during World War II. Shortly following World War II, the United States initiated a nationwide program to expose college and university students to the field of aviation. The Civilian Pilot Training Program, coordinated by the Civil Aeronautics Authority, did not begin as a military program. However, with the possibility of American involvement in the war looming on the horizon, government officials insisted that a program be designed to train American pilots that would ultimately prove beneficial in strengthening American air power. Six historically black colleges and universities engaged in such training, including one founded by African American educator Booker T. Washington right here in Alabama, Tuskegee Institute, now known as Tuskegee University. Overcoming barriers of racism and obstacles of oppression, the first African-American pilots to graduate from Tuskegee Army Airfield would do so in March of 1942. Nearly 1,000 military pilots earned their wings in Tuskegee, Alabama by the end of World War II, supported by the efforts of countless navigators, bombardiers, instructors, maintenance personnel, and administrative staff. The Tuskegee Airmen served with great distinction during World War II, flying in the 12th and 15th Air Forces in aircraft such as P-39, P-40, P-47, P-51, and B-25. The City of Birmingham, the Birmingham Shuttlesworth International Airport, in conjunction with the Southern Museum of Flight, continues to honor the legacy of the Tuskegee Airmen. The Tuskegee Airmen Art Exhibit on Concourse B to the exhibit devoted to the Reverend Fred Shuttlesworth here in Baggage Claim, it is both our honor and our privilege to be able to share the stories of African Americans who stood in the face of adversity and helped pave the way for all. These exhibits are on permanent display, so we invite you to join us at any time, come fly with us, or simply just come visit us to see these exhibits and join in the celebration with us as we celebrate black history all year long. Thank you again for joining us, and we hope to see you soon.